storm that came through our property, our farmstead was a uh, F1 tornado with winds of approximately 135 miles an hour. The path of the tornado encompassed our whole uh, group of farm buildings, including uh, our riding arena, our house, and our hangar on the, on the grounds. Damage to the property consisted of, uh, I had a riding arena, which is no longer there, a stall barn, which was heavily damaged, an old barn, which was damaged, a garage, which was damaged, the house, which was damaged, and the hangar, which, thank goodness, achieved minimal damage because my uh, precious airplanes were in there. The riding arena was a pole building. I built the hangar because I wanted a steel structure building to protect the airplanes. I wanted the best I could get, so I bought a steel structure for that. And for the horses, I bought just a pole building. Built the K building in 97, and I built the uh, pole barn for the riding arena in about 2003. The K building, uh, from the outside, you look at the K building and it's very little damage to it on the outside. Uh, on the inside, there were three vertical beams. This was a wall that faced the tornado, and I would say that the K building was actually in, in the edge of the tornado because the path of the tornado took the riding arena out and uh, the damage in the trees and the rest of the farm show the path to go right through the edge of the K building. My good friend uh, was at the corner of the section that I live in and watched the tornado and actually took pictures of it as it went through our farmstead. I was originally told that my hangar was flattened, which is the K building, and uh, immediately my heart sunk. And, uh, but then he said, no, he said, your back building was the riding arena, wasn't it? And I said, yes. And so he said, that's the building that was damaged. It looks like your, your, your hangar is all intact. The gable end of the K building faces the west, so it took the full brunt of the Katrina winds also, and it took the full brunt of this tornado. I would say the proof is in the pudding with this building. It's still standing after all those winds.